first day of filming and I have no idea what's going on. I think I got this thing off. Hey guys, say hi to the camera guys. Hi. hi. And welcome everyone as we take an intimate journey behind the scenes of Friday the 14th, 14th? I think it's 14th. Part two. Harry, do you have Wi-Fi? No, I don't have it. Yes, one second. It's gonna be amazing. Do I really have to do this? Yes. Why? It's like for like the DVD extras or whatever. Just do it. It'll be cool. Like make it seem more professional and stuff. Just say your name, your role, and how you get involved in the movie, and pretend like I'm not even here. Just like look at the camera. Okay, you got it? Sure. And go. Hi, I'm Marissa Gable. I'm playing the role of Lauren. Harry originally came to me with the idea in calc, and I thought it was a great idea, and he had the whole plot mapped out and everything, and I'm really excited for the opportunity. Oh, well, thank you. Okay, thanks. That's perfect. <laughs> Good. Hi. Hey, Marissa. Hi, Harry. So, I have a question for you. Okay, shoot. What do you think about opening credits? For the movie? No, like, what about, okay, this is the idea. So you know how we're doing like like the behind like the scenes type stuff? Yeah. I think we could like make like a little documentary and then have cool opening credits at start and it'll be like Alright. I mean I've never heard of opening credits for behind the scenes. It's a, but like it's gonna be a documentary. It's gonna be its okay, own separate okay. thing. Okay. The making sure. of Can I get producer credits? You know what? Okay. No. Please. Cue the opening credits. So I'm gonna go whenever. So the original Friday the 14th was actually an English project that I was working on sophomore year. It was about 15 minutes long and I just had this great idea for a sequel and I thought I'd make it bigger and better and scarier and the fact that now I had less um, restrictions on me and more creative freedom I thought I could do a whole lot more with it. I was really excited. Hey Data. No, are you actually, oh my god, you're the biggest in the world. I can't believe you're taking a video of me doing my makeup. Wow, we're gonna have to bleep that out now. Good! I hope you, I hope you're not taking actual I like video this of me song. doing my makeup. Well, I am. We have to document. No, I look No. This is for the behind I the refuse. scenes. Then we're, we're gonna do it. So, you excited to start filming today? Are you? Are you, Dana? Are you, Dana? Are you? She's very excited. Alright, I'm gonna start crying. We're at Moe's Hills right now. Morris Hills? Morris Hills? Did I just say Morris Hills? I just said we're on Morris Hills. That's pretty bad. Um, basically, I've been acting since I was four years old in a lot of shows, but I've never done anything like this before. Like, never done a horror film, so it should be fun. I'm really excited. Okay, so Dana, basically, you're just gonna run down this hallway, and then at the very end, you're gonna run into Mason. And um, actually, Vex, since you have the camera, can you just film this for now? Good. Okay. So basically you're just going to run down, when you bump into him, you guys are going to start your dialogue and have your whole conversation. That's basically it. Good. Oh my god, Mason, 
We, we gotta go. He's right behind us. He's right there. Who? The killer. He was right there. We gotta go now. Dude, dude, there's no one behind you. It's okay. Hi. My name is Andrew Bex. You may have heard of me. And I'm the producer and cinematographer for Friday the 14th Part 2. I was in the original Friday the 14th and my character died, but Harry asked me to come back, which I thought was pretty cool. And um, me and Harry have been friends ever since elementary school, so I always got his back. We're filming in the woods. Hey guys. Hey Dana. Are you hanging in there? Yeah. Great, great. Yeah. She's, again, she's very excited. Um, so, what, what was that? Are you okay? Oh, oh my god, that is a daddy long mic, for real though. Okay, okay. okay. Anyways, for real, for real. so I have the mask here. Hey Vex, can you stand in as the killer today? I got you. Okay, good, great. So, as you can see, Vex's clothes here, they're not very killery, but ladies and gentlemen, that is what happens when you have no budget. Like, literally zero. Like, did I tell you, did I mention, we are filming, I'm filming this on the Samsung. Are you okay? We're filming this on the, on the Galaxy S3. Wait, you know what I should do? I should totally get Samsung to sponsor this. That would be great. We can get them to sponsor it and it'll become like a big thing. It'll, I think it'll work out. Dana, what do you think? We can try. She, yeah. she is so like pumped right now. She, she's, she's so motivated, so motivated. Oh my God, that's mosquito. <laughs> no, keep going back, keep going back. Keep going. A little bit further, just keep going, keep going. It's gonna be a long movie. A little bit further, just keep, you know what, just keep going until I... She just called me the spawn of Satan. Yes, she did. I don't need you here, Vex. <laughs> no, wait, come back, I need you, I should need you. Okay, wait. A li little bit. Okay, fine. That's good. That's good. I like nature. It's kind of nice being outside all the time. Um, being inside is kind of boring after a while, but I mean, being outside is pretty great. I mean, it's kind of a horror movie, so we have to have a scene outside. Like, if we don't have one outside, you're kind of doing it wrong. Um, nature, I think, is a very beautiful place to be. Um, I think that it's very calming. Um, and you know, there's always, you know, there's always something about the weather that's, that you can find comfort in, whether it's like the wind or the sun or even in the cold, you know, the beauty of the trees and stuff. It's, it's beautiful and it's very picturesque, which makes it a great place for filming. I freaking hate the woods. Let me talk to you about the woods for a second, okay? So we're trying to film a scene and then suddenly, all this wind comes in out of nowhere and it's not like we have professional equipment where we can like fix it or mess with the audio or whatever. No, 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 no. We have zero budget here. So we have to keep doing the scene over and over again until this wind stops and who knows, it might not even stop. You can go all day if it wants. I don't know, cause it's the wind. And then it keeps, keep, keeps going and going and going and going and then there's insects and, and freaking leaves and trees. Like what the hell is this? And now, like, I don't understand. So I'm, you know, I'm trying so hard not to curse right now cause I'm showing this to my cow class, but it me the off. Can we go now? Can we go now? Yeah. Okay, okay. So Jenna, I'm gonna need you to like go from up there and then run out of the house. And then Matt, you're gonna come from right behind, shout at her, at which point you stop in front of the camera, say your line, and then we just continue and you guys have your whole little dialogue. I get the script's right here. I'll give it to you. Let me see. Okay, you good? You got it? Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, she's gonna run out, I'm gonna yell at her, and then what? And then you just, she's gonna stop, and you guys are gonna go with your dialogue. Okay. Yeah. So I... I'll just, I'll, I'll walk you through it. Okay. <laughs> hey, Jenna, you good, right? You yep. good? Okay. You sure? Yeah, don't worry, just watch. Okay, confidence, good. I like it. Let's do it. And, wait. Go. Hi, I'm Jenna Gregson, and I play Amanda. And I guess me and Amanda were both pretty sassy, and... A lot of people underestimate me, and in the movie, a lot of people underestimate Amanda. So if you give us the chance, we can really show you what we're made of. Okay, that time was good. Can we just do it one more time? Seriously? I thought that time was fine. No, no, it was good. It was just, Jenna, you were good. Matt, I just, can you be like a, li a little more angry? Like something's been really bothering you and it's getting on you. Just one more time, one more time, okay? Okay. Okay, okay we're good? We're good? Okay, let's set it back up. 
Harry's interesting. He's really passionate about this movie thing, but he can get a little demanding at times. He said I was demanding? Amanda, wait. You gotta understand where I'm coming from here. I didn't want you to get worried. I'll start understanding when you quit lying to me. So, um, I have to film tomorrow, and I can't find my mask anywhere. And if I don't find it, that's no good, because then we can't film, and we need to film. What? Oh. Cabin in the Woods. Look at the, look at the cover, it's so nice. Yeah. Um, I guess I should put it this way. I'll put it away there. Fun fact about Cabin in the Woods. The writer and producer of Cabin in the Woods, Joss Whedon, he was also the writer and director of The Avengers. Both of them, first one and two. And what else did he do? He created Buffy. He wrote Toy Story. And I still can't find my mask anywhere. Oh, wait, coin! Wait, I got it. Okay, I'll put that up. You know what? These DVD featurettes are going to be great. Like, I'm spewing out fun facts and everything. But if I don't find the mask, then it'll be not so great, because I don't even have a movie to go along with the DVD feed. Really? Really? That, that wasn't even a good attempt, guys. Like, I'm sorry. Jeez. Like, oh, get this thing out. Yeah. My actors think they're funny by playing different pranks on me. That wasn't even a good shot. Like, I didn't even get scared by that one. Freaking mask. Freaking, like, the, they're doing this mask like it's the elf on the shelf. Another thing, like, during Christmas where you put the elf somewhere different each day. That's this thing. You know, that thing is creepy if you think about it. Like, the elf is just moving randomly by itself. That's, that's like, Chucky. That's frightening. Poor children. I don't know. I'm gonna do that to my children. I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna get a Chucky doll and like start moving it around the house. That's what my children get. I'm gonna just get the crap out of them. Well, what do you mean? Well, what are you gonna do? We need to get this done sometime. Okay, well, I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you I'm happy right now because I'm really not. Oh, okay, well, well, thanks for telling me, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. See ya, yeah. Bye. This is why filming a movie can be so frustrating sometimes. Oh, and we're watching Steve Harvey in here. Hey, wait, why is, what's going on? There's a dog over there. Uh, hey guys, hey guys, uh, so Matt isn't coming today. Why not? Uh, I don't know, apparently some family thing or something. So then what are we gonna do now? I mean, there's like a few scenes we can do with a chunk of us, but we really needed him for the majority of the stuff. We're already having enough problems. So I know there's already been a few problems with the filming process. Um, I'm not really sure how we're gonna get through it, but... I'm loyal to the film, I'm gonna stick through, so hopefully it will all work out. This is what we're doing while we should be filming. <laughs> what the hell was that? What was that noise? I think this is a sign that I should be working out more. Oh, crap. What the hell is this? Die. Well, that sounds inviting. Okay, let's see. Hey guys, did any one of you leave this for the film shoot today in the other room? No, no. Oh. I don't know. Maybe Andrew left it when he, he was here before. I don't know. Hey guys, hey, are you, are you guys good? You guys good? Okay. Ready and action. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I'm so sorry. It's okay, we can just keep going with it. Just okay. keep going.
it. We'll get it. We're gonna three. do it. We're gonna do it. Okay, I have no idea why that just happened. Okay. Okay, you guys keep good? myself from laughing. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I know. Okay, and ready, action. But what if this isn't a coincidence? What if this is patterning the murders at Camp Crystal wait, wait, River? Cut, 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 cut. Jenna, you're in, you're in the shot. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you're, you're right behind them. How would you not be in the shot? I'm sorry. It's all right. Okay, wait. Let's do it again. And... Wait, no, no, Jenna! You're in the shot. Jenna, Jenna go extend everybody. Actress prof profession. Professional? Well, professional? I, ex act <laughs> actress extraordinaire over here. Professional? No. Question mark? <laughs> Lovely. What is going on? <laughs> we're supposed to be filming and we're discussing Victoria Justice and her hotness. Personally, her hotness. I'll give her a six. A six? <laughs> you want to give her a six? <laughs> Beautiful oh, shot. Like Victoria Justice. Anyway, are we done? <laughs> Scarlett Johansson is dead. Hey. Um, so the movie's been great so far. Um, Harry's an awesome director and we, it's been fun. I mean, I'm friends with everybody on set already, so that's nice. Um, I filmed a scene with Katie earlier today and it was great. Um, I think it went really well and I'm excited for the rest of the movie. Fake blood. <laughs> this is like my favorite stuff ever. Hey, Marissa. Ew, no, no, get Jenna. this stuff away from hey, me, Harry. Mar Stop. Jenna, Jenna, Jenna. Jenna, Jenna. My thoughts on fake blood. Um, well, I don't hate it. Um, it's a little gross if you ask me. I don't like lots of fake blood because that's a little weird and gory. I'm not a huge fan of gore, but I don't know. I don't hate it. It kind of freaks me out. It looks, it looks too much like real blood and I can barely handle paper cuts, so pour it on me. <laughs> Do you know where I put my bottle of fake blood? Um, I think you left it on the kitchen table after we filmed the scene where Mason gets his arm slashed off. Okay, yeah, thanks. What the hell? Um... Well, what the hell is this? Are you guys like playing a trick on me or something? Because this was full of blood when I had it, and now there's no blood. And how are we supposed to film a slasher movie without any blood? I don't know what happened. We were here doing our lines the entire time. So if there's one thing I've learned about Harry is that he likes his fake blood. If you don't want Harry on your bad side, mess with his fake blood. Where's Vex? I haven't seen him. I think he went downstairs. I'm right here. What's up? This? You do this? Do what? Don't do what me the water bottle. It was filled with blood and now it's empty. I just went down to get a drink, man. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm pretty sure Harry thinks I did something with the fake blood, but honestly, I have no idea what he's talking about. Hey, Mr. Director Man, what you working on? I'm just editing stuff. Can you come here for a second? Yeah, sure. Did you work on this today? Yeah, I filmed it earlier today. Because, listen to this audio. <laughs> what the hell is that? That's weird. I w was that there today? No, I would have heard that when I filmed it earlier today. Well, it's there now. We can't even use this. Like, I don't know. We're going to have to dub it in later or redo it, but we can't use this. I want to believe Andrew. I really do. But first there's fake blood. Now this. I don't know. He's working on the same project. Maybe he's trying to sabotage mine to make his better. I don't know. Like, I don't see him doing that. But somebody's doing something. This stuff just just happened out of nowhere. There has to be somebody behind it. Right now, I just don't know what to think anymore. I know. <laughs> okay, so Emily, you're basically, you're just gonna walk in and then Marissa, as she's walking in, just acknowledge her and then that's when you guys start your conversation. And then Emily, you're eventually just gonna sit down on the benches. Wait, so, yeah. so do I say yeah. I haven't been feeling like myself lately before Emily sits down or after she sits down? Um, and right now, right now it doesn't really matter. Just like play the scene however it feels natural, and then if it doesn't feel right, we can just film it again later. So just do it like that, okay? I am. Oh, I love Marissa, but you know she gets so into the acting, all these little details. But that that's okay. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, do you happen to have a copy of the script I can look over? Um, yeah, I think I left it in the small table in the living room. Okay. Yeah? Can you come in here for Yeah, what is it? Um, Dana, please tell me you're playing a trick on me or something. I'm not. Harry seems convinced that someone's sabotaging his movie. I couldn't tell you what's really going on, but he's really starting to unravel. A lot of stuff has been happening around the set, like really weird things, things moving, lights going on and off. But I mean, I guess everyone's a little superstitious. I mean, that's how theater and films work. So it's um is one twenty four in the morning, and I just heard a noise downstairs, and it woke me up. But um, when I looked down at my arm, I saw this. I I have no idea what could have done it. What didn't? Doors are locked. Um, it wasn't there when I went to sleep, and how it is and. I didn't even feel it or anything. Um, I'm just, I'm really freaked out right now. You know, there's just all the stuff going on while we're making the movie. And now this, and it is really starting to get to me. But, um, I'm gonna go check to see what was downstairs. Um, I don't know what made the noise, but I want to have this on camera, whatever's down there, whatever is going on, so I'm going to go, and um, just in case I need it, I got a bat, because that's going to protect me, <laughs> at least I can find some humor in this situation. Okay, I just have to turn on the light. Okay. Okay, there goes nothing. Can these stairs squeak any? So far, I don't see anything. Hey, Hercules. Sorry, buddy. Outside, I don't think. Oh, God. <sighs> My God, are you kidding me? Oh, perfect. Grave Encounters is on. That just makes me feel so much better about myself. In this situation, as if it's trying to tell me something. Oh God. Okay. Oh, this is a stupid TV. Oh my God, I'm losing my mind. Oh my 
god, what was that? What the hell is going on here? One thing you threatened my movie, but my life? Alright, calm down. You don't even know who did it or anything. It could just be a joke for all you know. A joke? Does this look like a joke to you? Somebody came in my house. Well, what did the police say? They didn't find anything. No fingerprints, no DNA, no nothing. You know what they did find? They found my blood on the freaking drawing. How could they not find anything? Are you sure you weren't sleepwalking last night? What kind of person gouges their own arm out and draws a picture of themselves dead in their sleep? I don't know. People killed in their sleep. Look, you're under a lot of stress, I know. Maybe... I'm just trying to find a rational explanation for this. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I just don't know any human that can make those marks. What if there is no rational explanation? Seriously? Well, I mean, you, I'm being serious. You just said it yourself. You don't know any human that can make those marks. What if it wasn't human? It would explain all this stuff was happening without any evidence. You mean like a ghost? I don't know, a ghost, a demon, a spirit, whatever. It just it has to be something. You're being serious right now. You know what? I must be crazier than I thought if I'm actually going to listen to this. Like, you know, you know what? It's my fault. We've been working on this movie too long. Everyone's stressed out. What better explanation do you have? Oh my god. June 23rd, 1952. Famous actress dies on set. Actress Maureen Wilkinson, age 38, died on the set of what was to be her newest film, The Thing from Within the Forest. The incident occurred while Wilkinson was filming a scene in which she was to be chased by a creature. While running, Wilkinson tripped on a downed tree branch, causing her to fall off a steep drop-off and snap her neck. She died instantly. Production of the film has since ceased. Reports claim that the film had been facing internal conflict since its inception after Wilkinson attempted to drop out several times, though was forced to continue due to her contractual obligation with director Fred Masterson. She is survived by her husband actor Steve Wilkinson. Pinewood Forest. That's the same place we filmed a few weeks ago. You guys are kidding me, right? That's not it. Look at all this. In 1982, a group of student filmmakers went to the same forest to film a horror movie, and all of them mysteriously vanished with no sign of where they went. And since then, there have been half a dozen other cases of film shoots that were shut down after people were either injured or killed in freak accidents after they filmed in the same woods. Wait, 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 guys. Let's back it up a minute. Nobody is dead. You know what? I shouldn't have even said anything. I shouldn't have said anything. Wait, how can you say that? This all makes sense. You know what? I think what we all need right now is a break. I'll just wrap it up for today and come back in a week. Well, I think it might be a ghost. Like, I know it's like, it really sounds stupid, but like, I mean, come on, this doesn't, no one really does this without a joke. I mean, it was funny in the beginning, but like, no one's going to keep doing it after we all get like really freaked out. I'm actually getting really freaked out and I don't want anyone else to think I'm like being a loser, but like, I don't, I don't really want to keep doing this. There are a lot of theories uh, flying around as to what could be going on with all these like strange occurrences. I am, for right now, I'm kind of reserving judgment. Um, I'm impartial to either side. I think that there are, you know, there could be logical explanations. There could be super, there's always a supernatural explanation if you want to go into that. So I'm kind of remaining neutral Switzerland, you know, not really, not really taking a side here because I, I, I just, don't think that it's something that I want to get involved in. It's terrifying. Hello everyone, <laughs> and welcome back behind the scenes. So, it's been about a week. Um, oh, let me flip this camera. Oh look, there's Marissa and Jenna, I guess. Okay. So, it's been about a week and we get to experience any more hauntings. So, let's see how this all goes. Um, should go well, guys. What do you ah! think? Oh my god! Jeez, man, you almost gave me a heart attack. Okay, like, yeah. one day I'm seriously gonna punch you in the face. Uh, no, don't worry about that. Jenna already took care of it. What are you talking about? You punched him in the face? Oh, come on, it was an accident! Yeah, right. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Drama well, on set. Here's what happened, okay. I was going to my locker and I was bending down to pick up books, and when I came up, I accidentally slapped him in the face. That's... Okay. That, 
I don't I don't believe that. It happens. What can I say? I don't I don't believe you. I really don't. Marissa's with me on this, right, Marissa? What? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Um. Sorry. So, guys. Oh, uh, where did Em go? I want to do over the scene with her. I think she went to the bathroom. Didn't she go upstairs like thirty minutes ago or something? I don't know. You know what, Matt? You go check. Okay, I don't want to do this. Take the camera. Why? Doc. I want everything to be documented. Why? Gosh. Hey. Gotta, behind the scenes, you gotta look oh nice. Oh my gosh. Cast interaction. Oh people, love my cast god. Cast. Look something at him. He thinks he's happen. so big. Okay. It's so cute. So this is Matt on the start of this show here, and uh, I don't know, there's Emily. Whoa, Emily, that makeup looks so real. Damn. Yo, I thought your scene was tomorrow, though. Wait. Emily? Emily? Yo, oh my gosh. Yo, somebody get an ambulance! One day you can see someone so alive, and then the next day they're just gone. Are you kidding me? Get this camera out of my face! Well, I'm not just gonna give up now. We've already done so much in this movie. I, I just, I just don't think I can do this anymore. And in light of recent events. I don't think you should either. Don't, don't start with me with this right now. I'm being serious. This, 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 this isn't normal. You can tell there's a pattern listen, going on here. Listen, listen, I get it. You're freaked out. I'm freaked out too. We're all freaked out. But I'm not going to sit here and let you blame it on, like, what, ghosts? Oh, don't you patronize me. There were no signs of foul play. How do you explain that? There's always... The police's explanation. I don't, I don't know. Maybe she was like stressed Tell out. Tell me that did not just come out of her. No, I don't. Tell me. You what know what? I'm done. Listen, All right, I'm no. done. Listen, I need you for this movie. We've already done so much. You know what? Just gonna, just... Have fun rewriting it, okay? Caitlin, come on. Are you seriously? You're filming it? Get out of here. Really? Why are you filming this? The people need to know what's going on. There's nothing going on here. It's just a bunch of people acting crazy over a stupid movie. So, Caitlin? dropped out, and she did it because of all the weird things going on, and I mean, I can't really blame her. I guess she's pretty superstitious, but I thought about dropping out myself, but Harry really wants to push forward with the movie, and I can't blame him for that either. So I guess I'm kind of caught in between them. We'll see what happens. Um, hey guys. It's 11.48, and I'm nowhere near finished rewriting this thing. I don't know how much longer it's going to take me, but right now I just don't think there's enough time to do this. I'm exhausted and emotionally drained. And I just can't, I don't know. Hey guys, um, thank you all for being here. I know this wasn't easy with everything that's been happening, but right now we're almost like halfway done with the movie film, so I really just want to get this done and we can do it. I just got to work on some stuff on my laptop really quick and then we'll get back to the filming. Okay? Thanks guys so much. Hey Andrew, do you have the other camera? Does it have a full battery? Yeah, it's on like 80%. Okay, because like we might need to use that one today because I used up all mine last night and I accidentally recorded myself sleeping. So I'm just trying to delete all these files. Ha! How long is the recording? Uh, probably like a few hours. Um, maybe I'll catch myself snoring or something. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys were right. Ah! Wait, what just happened? What do you mean you guys were right? The ghost!
close. It's real. It was right behind me in that footage from last night. Okay, can someone please turn on a flashlight or something? Because I can't see anything. Let me turn on the night vision. No, guys, I'm sorry. I'm out of here. I've seen this movie before. I'm not staying here. No. Everyone get upstairs! Wait, guys. Shh. We're just making more noise to attract it. Just be quiet for a second. Stopping? Yeah, it's not worth it anymore. I'm not gonna lose another one of you guys. Ending production of Friday the 14th Part 2 has to be one of the hardest decisions that I've ever had to make. Like, seriously, I'm, I'm being completely honest about that. Um, but it's something, I guess, that had to be done. I just couldn't take the risk anymore. And it's hard, I'm not gonna lie, like, I've been working on this for months, and now to just, like, throw it in the trash, it's difficult, because you put so much hard work into something, and then nothing comes of it. Um, but ultimately, it was just a decision that had to be made. There was nothing else I could have done. So, that's a wrap. Hey guys, Harold Lamas 4 here. What is up? Today I'm going to be doing something a little different from my normal videos. I'm trying to... Oh my god, I keep screwing this up. One second. Hey guys, Harold Lamas 4 here today. I'm going to be doing a little different video from my normal video game stuff. Um, I know a lot of YouTubers have been doing this, so today I thought I'd start and... Um, okay, wait one second. I'm going to get this right. I'm going to get, this. I'm going to get it right. I'm going to get it right. Okay. Hey guys, Harold Lamas 4, and today on YouTube... Oh my god. What? No, 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 this is happening, this is happening.
Relax. Relax. In the freaking door. and interrogated by a cop who said that Andrew died? Yeah. I don't think you have anything to worry about though, because I think that I did it. Why? It gave me a sign that Andrew was going to die. It's everything that's happening on the set all over again. I went over to his house to try to see what was going on, but I couldn't get in. If I didn't know any better, I would say that that was the plan all along. And I played right into it. Someone called the cops and they found me right there on the steps. Man, what the hell did they do to you? I mean, well, they really couldn't do anything because they didn't have anything on me. They damn sure tried to squeeze a confession out of me, though. Wait, you didn't tell them about this whole, you know... Are you kidding? You guys saw the way I reacted when you guys first tried to convince me of all this. Imagine how they take it. They throw me right in the loony bin. Actually, considering everything that's going on, that might not be the worst place for me right now. Don't say that. There has to be a way we can stop this. We'll figure it out, trust me. I hope so. It's just we've got the musical coming up, and then I've got AP exams after that, and then I dance on top of that every week, and I'm just exhausted. I hear you. The musical's gonna drive me insane. Are you going to lunch yet? Uh, I don't know. I might head in and work on some stuff for Corral first, and then maybe I'll head in later. Alright, I'll just go in. I'm starving. Have you seen Harry anywhere? No, he wasn't in Calc this morning, which is strange because Harry, like, never misses school, like, ever. And have you seen what's been going on lately? There's been like a lot of cops around and everything. I'm starting to get a little worried. I wouldn't worry about it. They're probably looking for like drugs or something. Mm -hmm. Harry's probably off doing whatever Harry does, like on a field trip or something. Yeah, maybe. Oh, so you just put that exactly. in? Exactly. Okay. It has to be all completely transferred over okay. to the other variable. Oh, now I'm Hey, Matt. What's up? Yeah, I was wondering if I could borrow a computer for a second. Oh, sure, Matt. Go ahead. Use the computer. No problem.
There you are. Jenna's been looking for you everywhere. Where were you this morning? Just having a grand old time being interrogated by the police. What? Why? Can you take your head out of that book for five seconds and talk to me? Andrew's dead. Whatever did all that stuff to us, I don't think it's done yet. So I'm here, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Wait, what? He's dead? I, I can't believe this is all still happening. I mean, well, what have you found? Do you think we can stop this ghost? That's the thing. All this time, we've been going off the assumption that it started with this Maureen actress. That she died on set and then she was trying to get vengeance. But what if she's being plagued by the same exact thing that was affecting all those other people? You see, I don't think it's a ghost we're dealing with. I think it might be a demon. Now, just hear me out for a second. I've been doing some research, and here it says that ghosts are undead humans who had some unfinished business in the world. Mainly, they want attention. Nine times out of ten, you give it to them, and they'll let you go. Even the really, really bad ones, they can't make so much as physical contact with you. Demons, on the other hand, they're a different story completely. According to legends, they're fallen angels. They were never humans, but they can end up embodying any number of different forms. In this case, that woman that we saw that time. But the thing is, their sole purpose is to cause pain and chaos. They feed off of fear. They can and will kill you. And they won't stop at anything until you're actually dead. Oh my god. Matt, everything okay? Yeah, there's just something I gotta go get. Yeah. Okay, so how do we stop it? Like, an exorcism? Well, would you happen to know any nearby exorcists we can give a call? Even if we were gonna do that, there's only a fraction of a chance that it'll actually work. According to this book, and you're not going to like it, the most surefire way to get rid of a demon is to let it possess a human body and then kill it from within. So, killing the person in the process? Well, that, that can't be the only way. Are you sure there's nothing else? I don't know. It's not like this is an exact science. I'm not a ghostbuster over here. I thought you said it was a demon. You get what I mean. Can I see that for a sec? Sure. I doubt it'll do you any good, though. Yeah, I think we should go find the others. Fast. than we do alone. I think that oh, we- Marissa. Oh my god, Matt! You just gave me a heart attack! We were just looking for you! I think I knew who the ghost is going after next. Actually, it's kind of a demon. Do we really have time for this? Wait, how? The script. In the script for the movie, Emily dies first, then Andrew. It's killing us off in the order of the script. Oh my god, you're right. I can't believe I didn't see this before. So, who's next? I thought my locker changed and then we'll yeah, I gotta go too, just give me like- Okay, well hurry up! Everyone's just been acting so weird lately. I mean, Marissa keeps looking into the distance and Harry's nowhere to be found. He's not answering his texts either. And I keep hearing this ominous music in the background. I don't- I don't know, I just- I feel like- Like I feel like someone's watching me. Watching you? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like... 
kind of like, like it's happening again? No. Like, like we're in the movie. Come on, you two, don't go crazy on me, okay? You have to leave it all in the past. It's over. I'm gonna go home and you should go home too. Where's Marissa? We gotta get going. She's not back yet. Wow, what's up? I, I feel it. It's like, I'm, it's another sign again. We gotta get going. Yeah, but we can't leave without Marissa. Let's go. Where's Dana? What's wrong? Wait, where's Dana? She went home. Why? Just come with us. We all slide in the car. Don't worry, there's nobody here. You have nothing to worry about. I'm fine. Huh, the phone just cut off. You better hurry then. I don't know how much time you have left. It's not like this thing has a set schedule, though. At least I don't think it does. At this point, let's just make sure everybody's safe. <laughs> Marissa! Oh my god! We have to call the cops! We're not calling the cops! Don't you get it? They'll think we did it! I was already interrogated this morning. We have to wipe everything we have and get out of here. What are you, crazy? We can't just leave her here! He's right, though. We don't have a choice. 
The only thing we can do right now is stop it before it happens again. And right now, I'm not thinking we have a lot of time. But this doesn't make any sense! It's supposed to be following the script! Actually, it still might be. Harry, what are you talking about? You see, the thing is, I never told you guys this before, because we had never gotten to this point, but I was rewriting the script because I thought I could make it better. Part of that was to set up Marissa's lead and then end up killing her off for shock value. So then what happens after? Well, there are two versions of the alternate. One where Caitlyn dies next, and one where Mason dies next. Great. So who do we go after? Both of them. Jenna and I will go after Caitlyn, and Harry and Dana, you go after Mason. We're gonna put an end to this. Hey. Hey, what's up? Not much, you? Nothing really. You going over your lines for rehearsal tomorrow? Yeah, sure, let's go with that. <laughs> Seriously though, what are you working on? It's just a stupid research paper for English. It's due next Thursday and I really don't want to do it. Then don't. Yeah, let's see how that will go over. You never know. Okay. Hey, who is that behind you? What? Look, that person right behind you outside the window. What are you talking about? Something was there. I swear, it just moved. Are you sure you're not tripping out on me? I'm not. Okay, look, I, was gonna, I have to go take a shower, right? I'll be back in a few minutes. Yeah, sure. Watch out. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I, I, I just, I, I don't even know what happened. I, I... 
don't even know what I was thinking. It's like I didn't even have control over my own body. It's okay. Just take a second. Just take a breath. It's all gonna be alright. So what do we do now? I don't know. Well, we have to do something. We can't just give up. Can't we? Is it even worth it anymore? Of course it's worth it. Come on, don't do this to me now. We need each other more than we ever have. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay? We just killed Mason in there. All my friends are dying and it's all my fault. It will never be okay. You can't blame yourself for this. I chose the order that we're dying in. All those debts I am responsible for. You have no idea what that feels like. I had to make this stupid movie with this stupid script and- Stop. You would have never known that anything like this would ever happen. I don't know. You ever think maybe there's some other version of the world out there? Another version of the script? Like, in some other universe, we made this movie and everything turned out great and none of this stuff ever happened. Never really thought about it. I mean, I'd like to think so. But right now we're in this life and we still have a chance. We can still make this the reality where we make it out alive and go on to live our lives. Look, if we can stop this thing from killing another person, maybe we can screw up the script and make it out of here, okay? I need you for this. We need each other. You're right. Who is it? Matt. He said, meet me at your house, come quick. What the heck does that mean? I don't know. I guess we have to find out. You made it! Yeah, oh my god, Caitlin, you're alright. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 she's fine, she's fine. She's just out parking our car, it's fine. What about Mason? He didn't make it. Wait, Harry, we saved Caitlin. We rewrote the script. It's done. Oh my god, you guys actually did it. It's done. We don't have to worry anymore. challenges they faced. Death threatens individuals. Extinction stalks species. The only way to survive is to change. Oh, so that means wine. In yeah. nature, every day is a chance to rise. <laughs> you know, these nature documentaries the are actually very relaxing. I mean, I prefer comedies, but uh, this will work, I guess. Endure. The panther chameleon's long tongue shoots out at blinding speed. 50 feet a second. Not all of nature's preeminent predators need that's a really long tongue. Oh my god! Oh, so so good. Later, they have to hey. Hey. Yeah. The the Why'd you tell us to what? For good reason. You sent us a text earlier and you said to meet here. You know what do you You sent me that text message. No. Travels together. Oh my god. Wait a sec, you guys don't think... No. But it doesn't make any sense. I mean, we all would have ended up in the same place anyway. Would it... Wait. Maybe. But this just sped up the process. It's trying to get us all tonight. Ah! 
you guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. Wait, where's Caitlin? 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 Caitlin! Caitlin! Caitlin? 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 You want. Harry, come Harry. and get me! What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm ending this. I have to do it. It's the only way. It was right there in the book. You have to let it possess somebody and then kill them. Grab a knife from the kitchen. Something. I don't know. You know what you have to do. You have to do it quick. Don't do this. We can find another way. You don't even know if this is gonna work. We have nothing else, Dana. If I don't do this now, we're all gonna end up dead anyways. We have to try. It's like you said. We can still make this right. You guys can stop this thing. Now go! Where did he go? Come on, we better go find him! Oh my god. You two, go get something to defend yourselves with. I'll take care of him. Go!
like you? I mean, I've been better. <coughs> Dana! Oh my god, Dana, I thought you were dead. I thought I was too for a little bit. It's alright. Just a little flesh wound. No big deal. No big deal? We have to get you to a hospital. Alright, alright. Is it over? Yeah, it's over. What about Harry? to work on and stuff. I might just go for an hour or two. But it's senior year, live a little. Okay, fine. Hey, Sam. Hey, Matt, what's up? Nothing much, what about you? Nothing, just enjoying the day. Can't believe we graduate soon. I know, it's crazy, right? Hey, you guys all hang out here without me? No, of course not. Hey, no crutches? I'm starting to think you're gonna wear those at prom. Nah, I just got them off yesterday, but I take that or the other day. Thank God for whatever you guys Yeah, man, I totally understand. How are you feeling now, though? Um, better. I'm trying to get back into my writing. Hey, you guys want to be in my next movie? It's okay, this time it's a comedy. Oh, so it's a story about your love life. Wow, okay. You know what? I give you credit for that. That was a pretty good one. Um, hey, I can't stay for the meeting today, so can you just text me to catch me up? I gotta go run and get ready. Yeah, no problem. We'll see you later. Thanks. See you guys later.
not there for behind the scenes or behind the scenes. But do a little different video from my normal videos with my video game stuff and whatnot. And I know a lot of YouTubers have been doing this, so I'm just gonna. Okay, wait, hey, wait. Wait, I want to give you an acting tip. I'm in the middle of I'm doing sorry. it. Speak slower. You're thinking it too much. No, Take this is no, this is. I'm talking to my YouTube audience. I know, but slow down. Yeah, but this is how I talk to my YouTube audience. I'm saying slow down, and that's why you're messing up. I'm no, I'm not messing up. That's part of the. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Hi, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> With dance on top of everything. Wait, can we start over? Sorry, I messed up that line. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Mason, we gotta go the <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what you're doing, okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Do this is a stupid line anyway. <laughs> you wrote it. Yeah, I did. Keep going. Oh the my god. Of spring. Jenna, I can hear you in the shot. Okay, thank you. Go again, Vex, Vex, Vex. No, Vex, Vex, what are you doing? Sorry, let's go. Are you recording? Yes. <laughs> Wait, okay, keep going, keep going. <laughs> I can't <laughs> It's funny how one day <laughs> you see someone and the next <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> oh, I'm not supposed to say the dot dot dot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're talking about somebody dying. <laughs> Just take a second. It's called. <laughs> it's okay. Just take a second. It's already gonna be over. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Take oh, you right yeah. now. <laughs> oh my god! That if I didn't know any better, I don't know my line, and I'm just improvising all of this. <laughs> Why? Because you forgot the line. Yeah. It's <laughs> what? Why? And then you say I had a son. Couldn't get in. Someone called the cops. I forgot your line. <laughs> Oh, no. Go. Oh wait. Time out. Go. Actually, wait. We need to redo that. Head in that book for five seconds and talk to me. I'm just gonna say this. Andrew's dead. I don't know. I don't know my line. That's what I don't know. Did you hear that? <laughs> I can't put on the jacket. <laughs> Super real. Ready? Oh, wait. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> you don't know me, okay? It's a heartbreaking moment. Give it to me. I'm like, this is just filming it. Cool. Well, at the moment, Take. Four, five, I don't know, what take are we on? <laughs> That's Give how you do it. Give it to me, I'm worth it. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, go whenever. Do you, do you mind me squirting this in your face? <laughs> <laughs> that bitch, I'm so happy she's dead.